Yo, what's up? This is Oscar from Underdog, and yes, it is autumn in Brussels. It's getting cold. Bring on the Gru references. I know, I know. Anyway, today is a little introductory topic for some of you who are maybe new to production on what a vowel filter is. Sometimes this is also described as a formand filter. And as you know, in the English language, you've got the vowel sounds, which are a, e, i, o, u, right? Basically any sound that doesn't require you to do some kind of plosive or anything like this. They're just basically air coming from your lungs, going into your vocal box, and then your vocal tract is kind of shaping that waveform that's coming out of here, the raw material, using a kind of like bandpass filters or a complex equalizer shape to create the different in shape the a, e, i, o, u shape. And this gets mimicked in music production as well, using something called vowel filters or formant filters. Let me show you this in practice real quick. So here we are with a standard wavetable, which is just going to play a sawtooth wave. There we go. It starts on quite a low root note, and it has all these harmonics, right? And so we're going to put a vowel filter over those harmonics. And the simplest way to do that would be to go over here in the EQ8, and just find the formant section, and under the formant section, choose one of them. So I've chosen this O one. You hear that? Let's do, so let's do an O. Let's do the U. Let's do the I. E. So yeah, it mimics the behavior of your vocal tract, um, shaping the waveform that's being created by your lungs, basically. And so this is basically also how they make computers speak without using vocal samples, right? And you have some plugins that do it very, very nicely. Like, for example, this kilohertz one. You can see all the different phonetic vowel sounds. Ah, oh, e, e. And so sometimes this can be exactly what you want, right? But another way that vowels are used in music quite commonly now, especially in something that I would consider like modern production with serum and things like this, is using wavetables that already have vowels inside of them. So, for example, instead of this uh, sawtooth wave wave shape, you can go in here and find formant, which again just means vowel. And you see it says I, E, O, U. So there we can just move the position around and go... And so this way you can get a very pure formant sound, a pure, very pure vowel sound. So for example, after a bit of sound design, I came up with the following. Basically the LFO is moving around the formant, so every time that it hits it goes I -E -O -U in a slightly different place. It's got a pretty driven filter as well that, uh, that opens and closes. And then it's got a little arpeggiator that does little trills on it. Plus it's going into some, some kind of uh, psychedelic effect with Portal. And so, then in the context of a track, for example, here's a track I've been working on. And so you know when you've got a lot of percussive and synthetic stuff going on in a song? Our brains are quite attached to vocal sounds. They catch our attention quite strongly. So adding in a little bit of format, a little bit of vocal sounds at some level of your composition can sometimes be quite cool because it gives a bit of, you know, like textural diversity to the things that we're hearing. So go out and experiment with this. If you've got any wavetable synthesizers, I'm sure they have a wavetable bank that says vowel or format. Try experimenting with that. See what other filters are built into your synthesizer because there might be a vowel filter built into your filter. And quite frankly, that's all you need to know about vowel filters as far as I know. If random YouTube tutorials are getting you a bit lost in music production though, and you want a bit more of a structured way of learning, go follow my Foundations of Electronic Music course. It's on my website. Follow my Torque project on SoundCloud if you want to see what happens when this project finally comes out. And if this kind of heavier techno is for you, come show us on the Discord channel what you did with this. And until next time, stay producing, be good to one another, and take care. Bye-bye.